what's going on everybody this is Keegan here and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys and welcome back to another episode of questions and answers the monthly series where I answer questions you guys leave me in the comments section of my videos would it rather be in the comments of the previous questions and answers video or some of my more recent videos now before we dive into today's episode I have a little update for you guys so in the last episode I had a trouble with my iPad and I wasn't able to use it in the last episode and I had to improvise by using my mother's computer. I know that sounds really cringy but yeah I had to use my mom's computer in the last episode. Well unfortunately my iPad will not work with YouTube on the YouTube app on my iPad. So I'm no longer going to be using my iPad anymore when I make future questions and answers video. I'm going to be ha I'm going to have to use a computer from now on. Well, my iPad is outdated anyways. It's an, it's the iPad 2, which is what my iPad is. I had it since 2011, so it's outdated. So from now on, I'm going to be using a computer from now on when I make a new Q&A video starting now. But I am planning to get my own computer sometime next year. I'm going to get a desktop computer. So until then, I'm just going to borrow my mom's computer whenever I make a new questions and answers video. I know saying that sounds really cringy, but that's all I can do. Sorry guys. So anyways, on to today's video. I have a total of 53 questions to answer, so this is going to be a long episode. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next episode, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them. So anyways, without further ado, let's take a look at the questions you guys left me, shall we? So the first 16 questions come from a user named Maddie. And all of these questions are separated into two comments. One of these comments has six questions and the other comment has 10 questions. And I'm gonna read off the questions from the comment that has six questions. So the first question from Maddie is, how was The Legend of Hercules? I've never seen that movie, but I hear it's supposed to be a really crappy movie and I probably don't plan on watching it anytime soon. It's a crappy movie from what I heard. The second question from Maddie is, how was Borat and its sequel? The first Borat movie is a classic in my opinion. It's so funny. The sequel was alright. I don't think it was as good as the first one, but it was alright. I actually did a review of the second Borat movie a couple days ago. If you want to check it out, the link to that is in the description. Um, anyways, the next one from Maddie is, How was The Raven? I've never seen The Raven, but I've heard of it. I know it has John Cusack in it, but I've never seen it. Uh, the fourth question is, what's your opinion on King Kong 1933, 1976, and 2005? Um, I have not seen the 1933 or 1976 movies of King Kong. However, I have seen the 2005 remake of King Kong, the one with Naomi Watts and Jack Black, and I thought it was pretty good. But I haven't seen the original or the King Kong movie from 1976, but maybe I'll check them out someday. The next one from Maddie is, what's the worst movie you've ever, what's the worst movie of all time? Or the comment says, what's your worst movie of all time? Mm, I don't know how to answer that. There's a lot of bad movies, but I don't know what's the absolute worst movie I've ever seen. That's a tough one. I'd say probably between Jack and Jill, that crappy Adam Sandler movie from 2011. That was that movie where Adam Sandler's career began to fall apart, in my opinion. I also thought Freddy Got Fingered was stupid, and Disaster Movie was also stupid. That's also the lowest rated movie on IMDb. But I don't know what's the worst movie I've ever watched. Maybe I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm sure someday I'll figure out what's the worst movie I've ever watched. And the last one from Maddie on this comment is, How was October? October was a good month, I guess, besides I was sick the first week of October. But I'm all better now. And now we're going to move on to the other comment that Maddie has with 10 other questions he has. So the next question from Maddie is any shows and movies you gave up watching? For movies, I gave up watching Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 because the movie was so bad I couldn't even finish it and I stopped watching it after like 20 minutes. It was so bad. Another movie that I gave up watching was Mars Needs Moms. It was a Disney movie from like 2011. I watched it eight years ago. Never finished it. It was just a crappy movie. So I, I, I gave up watching it. And I don't plan on watching it anytime soon. For TV shows, however, 
for TV shows I gave up watching. I used to watch The Walking Dead with my brother, but we stopped watching it halfway through season six. But then I continued to watch it, and then I stopped watching it halfway through season eight because I, I thought the show got kind of boring. Honestly, I thought the show went downhill after season five. It got boring after season five. And I know that The Walking Dead will actually be coming to an end pretty soon with season 11, which will be the final season in this series. But I stopped watching The Walking Dead halfway through season 8. Honestly, I thought the show got kind of boring. It got boring after the fifth season. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Another show I gave up watching was a show I'm sure some people, I'm sure a lot of you gave up watching, and that's The Simpsons. I haven't watched The Simpsons in like five years and I don't know I just I got bored of it well the show should have ended a long long time ago and it's up and it's still on today on its 31st or 32nd season or something I don't know but I don't watch it anymore it's just the show should have ended a long time ago but it's somehow still on today um I also gave up watching Down Abbey after the second season I don't know I just I got bored of that show, and the show wasn't really my cup of tea. But I'm actually kind of surprised I continued watching it. I only watched, like, two seasons of it, and then I just, I gave up watching it. I just, nah, it just wasn't really my kind of show. Um, another show I gave up watching was, was uh, Stranger Things. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for saying it, but don't get me wrong. I loved the first season of Stranger Things. I thought it was great, and it was the best season. But for some reason, I couldn't really get into season two or season three for some reason. And I actually gave up watching halfway through the third season. I stopped watching after maybe the fourth or fifth episode of season three. I can't remember, but I didn't finish season three. I just I thought it got kind of boring and I didn't want to continue it. It's just nah, nah, not really. But don't get me wrong. I love the first season, but I couldn't really get into seasons two or three. Sorry, Stranger Things fans. So uh, that's the answer to the for, for, yeah, let's move on. The next question from Maddie is, are you aware that No Time to Die is going to streaming? It hasn't been confirmed that it's going to be going to streaming yet, but it might. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it's still going to get a theatrical release, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, there was the next question was the one I already answered is what's your worst movie of all time I already answered that one let's move on how is Arthur the PBS kids show I enjoyed that show Arthur I liked it a lot when I was younger and I'm actually surprised it's still on today I thought they ended it a long time ago but apparently not it's still on today but uh, Arthur is a is a good show for kids I don't think I ever read the books that the show was based on, though, when I was younger. But I remember watching the show when I was younger. But I don't think I've ever read the books that they were based on, though. Anyways, moving on. Did your collection video of last year have Casino scratched on Blu-ray? No, it didn't. That was on my old channel. But uh, my Blu-ray copy of Casino doesn't have any scratches on it. Uh, did you cancel Netflix? Um, no, I don't can't. I didn't cancel Netflix. My parents and my my brother use Netflix. I don't use Netflix all the time, but I use it sometimes. I don't even own the Netflix account, but my parents do. But I use Netflix sometimes, but not really. But my parents and my brother do. Uh, the next one from Maddie is, What's your opinion on Tolkien from 2019? Never seen that movie, but I've heard of it. It's about a film biopic on J.R.R. Tolkien, the writer of the Lord of the Rings books. Maybe I'll check it out someday. What's your opinion on the Iron Man trilogy and the games? I've always seen the first Iron Man movie. For video game wise, I played Iron Man 2 on the DS and it's a crappy game. I don't recommend it. Um, the next one from Maddie is, did you watch Harry Potter films 1 through 7 before? Um, I've only watched the first two Harry Potter movies and to be honest, I couldn't really get into the Harry Potter movies. Well, I didn't watch the other Harry Potter movies besides the first two. I don't know. Maybe I'll check them, the rest of them out someday. I don't know. I'm not really too big into, not big of a rush to checking them out. I couldn't really get into the Harry Potter movies or books, to be honest. I don't know. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. And the last one from Maddie is, did you travel to the United States before? Yeah, I've traveled to the United States before. I've been to Florida three times, but that's the only state I've ever been in the United States. I'd like to check out other states in 
in uh, in America. Maybe I'll check them some more up some other states in America someday. But the only place in America I've been to is Florida. Florida is a beautiful state, in my opinion. So uh, thanks for the questions, Maddie. Now let's move on to the other questions I have to answer, shall we? The next 20 questions come from a YouTube user by the name of Romano Costanza Morrison. His first question is, what's your opinion on Dr. Doolittle? I've never seen the Dr. Doolittle movies, to be honest. I've heard of them, but there's like, I don't know, three or four of those movies? I don't know. But there was a new one with uh, Robert Downey Jr. It's supposed to be a crappy movie, though, from what I heard. But I've never seen any of the Dr. Doolittle movies. So, uh, yeah. The next one from Romano Costanza Morrison is, What are your top ten favorite movies of all time? Hmm, that's kind of top secret. I'm planning to make a video on that someday in the future. So when that video comes, I'll answer that question. But until then, I'm not going to answer that until I make that video. But that video won't be coming out for a long time. But uh, someday in the future, I will make a top 10 favorite movies of all time video. Or maybe even more, maybe top 50. Well, we'll see about that. The next question is, do you like Taco Bell? If so, what's your favorite item on the menu? Mm, I like Taco Bell. It's not my favorite food, I mean fast food joint, but I think it's still pretty good. My favorite menu on the item is just a soft taco and some fries and that's it. That's what I normally get whenever I go to, ta whenever I go to Taco Bell. The next one from Romano Costanza Morrison is, do you like to dance? No, I don't like to dance. I just, I just don't. I don't really have a reason for it. I just, I don't dance. The next question is, have you ever had a cavity before? Yes, I've actually had a cavity before. I actually had it for the first time this year. I got it back in December and then I got it, I got it fixed in January it wasn't a big cavity, it was just a small cavity, but I got it all fixed up, so I'm all good now. But this was back in December when I got my cavity, and then I got it fixed in January. So I'm all good now. The next question is, chocolate cake or vanilla cake? Which one do you like better? I like chocolate cake. Vanilla cake is fine, but I like chocolate cake better. But that's just me. The next question is, do you work out or lift weights? I gotta be honest, I don't work out or lift weights. Well, I I do it little to never. I never really work out, to be honest with you. I just never really have time. I'm just busy. I know, I should probably start working out eventually. It's just, I don't really have time. But I am going to start working out eventually. It's just whenever I have the time. Well, at least I'm being honest with you. I'm not lying. I'm not like Keemstar. I don't lie to you like Keemstar or CNN and all those mainstream outlets. Mainstream media outlets, that is. Anyways, next question is, do you vape? No, I don't vape. I, that's just n not me. I just, I don't do that stuff. And I think vaping is stupid, but that's just me. The, the whole idea of vaping is just dumb to me. But I'm not judging you if you vape. That's fine. That, I just don't vape in general. I just think vaping is just stupid, but that's just me. That's just me at least. Uh, the next question is, if you were trapped on an island and can only eat three foods for the rest of your life, what would they be? Hmm, that's, uh, that's a good question. I don't know how to, how quite to answer that if I can only have three foods that I could eat for the rest of my life. But that's an interesting question, but I'm not really sure how to, how to answer that. Anyways, the next question is, what's your, what is your favorite band? I'm not sure what my favorite band is, but I like a lot of different kind of bands. I like Metallica, I like Pink Floyd, I like The Beatles, The Cranberries, uh, Aerosmith, The Doors, and a couple of other bands. But I don't know what's my absolute favorite band, but I like a lot of different kind of bands. Anyways, the next question is, do you use shampoo? Who doesn't use shampoo when they get in the shower? I use it. I think everybody should whenever they take a shower. Uh, the next question is, do you like burritos? Mm, I like burritos. I don't eat them a lot. They're not my favorite food to eat, but I don't mind them. Uh, the next question is, any embarrassing stories from elementary school or middle school? Um, I don't really have anything embarrassing. I have one really awkward kind of story that I will say in my story time video. 
Well, I already told that story before on my old channel, but if you were a subscriber to my old channel, you probably know what story that is, but I probably will make a new uh, story time video pretty soon, but I don't know when I'll make it, but there will be a new story time video coming out soon. Uh, the next question is, do you like the Polar Express? I think it's a bona fide classic. I agree. I think it's a classic. It's a really, really great Christmas movie. And a really good animated movie from Robert Zemeckis, the director of Forrest Gump. The next question is, what's your view on open relationships? Personally, I think relationships relationships should be closed. I think closed relationships are more, are more healthy. And open relationships might lead to cheating, breakups, and all that. But I prefer closed relationships over open relationships. But that's just me. I think closed relationships are more healthy than open relationships. Anyways, the next question. Do you like muscle tees? Um, I don't mind them. They're, they're cool shirts, I guess. Or tank tops, whatever you want to call them. They're cool. The next question is, do you like broccoli? No, I don't like broccoli. I don't like it. And the last question from Romano Costanza Morrison is, what are some of your favorite hobbies? I like to play video games. I like to read books. I like to write in journals. I like to sketch. I like draw pictures sometimes. And I also like to take pictures with my Polaroid camera. I also have an account on Instagram for posting pictures I take with my Polaroid camera. If you want to follow me on there. And um, I li also like to watch movies and read books. But uh, that's all I can really think of for hobbies. That's what I really do. And I also enjoy making YouTube videos. So uh, those are all the questions from Romana Costanza Morrison. Thank you for all the questions. So these next 10 questions come from a YouTube user that goes by the name Harold Dexter. And his first question is, what's your opinion on Rugrats? Rugrats is a great Nickelodeon show and definitely one of their best shows. And uh, overall, it's just a really, really great show. I also enjoyed the spin-off series, All Grown Up. I thought that one was pretty good. I know some people didn't like All Grown Up, but I thought All Grown Up was pretty good. But uh, Rugrats is a great show, though, and the uh, spin-off series, All Grown Up. Um, anyways, the next one from Harold Dexter is, What's your opinion on Chicken Little, 2005? I've seen that movie two or three times a long, long, long time ago. I can't exactly remember if I liked it or not, but I know the movie is considered to be one of Disney's more forgettable movies. I can't remember if I liked the movie or not, but I'm positive I've seen the movie a long time ago, but I can't remember if I liked it or not. But I have seen the movie, but I can't remember if I liked it or not. So, uh, yeah, don't really ha know how to answer it, but I think I liked it, though, but I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Anyways, the next question from Harold Dexter is, What's your opinion on Meet the Robinsons, 2007? It was an okay movie, I guess. Not the best Disney movie in the world, but eh, it was it was alright. It's not my favorite Disney movie, but it's, it's not a terrible movie. It's just, mm, wasn't really a big fan of it, but I thought it was alright. Uh, what's your opinion on Mars Needs Moms? Uh, crappy movie. I didn't like it. It's one of Disney's worst movies in my opinion. I already answered that earlier in this video, but I answered it again. Uh, what's your opinion on Escape from Planet Earth? I've never seen that movie, but I've heard of it. Um, the next one from Harold Dexter is, What other Pixar movies did you see in theaters besides The Incredibles? Um, I've seen Ratatouille, the first Cars movie. I'm trying to think of what else I saw. I also saw Wall-E, Up, Toy Story 3, Brave. And uh, that's all I can really think of. I know I've seen a few more, but I can't really remember them. And also, I don't want to take too long on saying them because it'll take too long. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next question from Harold Dexter, which is... Since you used to have Toy Story and Toy Story 2 on DVD, did you used to have either the 2000 or 2005 DVDs? Um, I believe I had the 2005 DVD releases. I can't remember though, but I'm pretty sure they were the 2005 DVDs. Um, the next one from Harold Dexter is, what's your opinion on Shrek? Shrek is a great DreamWorks animated movie and still one of the best animated movies 19 years later. 
The sequel, Shrek 2, is a great sequel and definitely one of the best sequels ever made. Um, Shrek the Third was alright and Shrek Forever After was underrated. I thought Shrek Forever After was pretty good, but I think the first two Shrek movies are the best. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think there's a fifth Shrek movie coming out, but I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I think there might be a new Shrek movie, though, coming out, but I'm not sure, though. Um, the next one from Harold Dexter is, do you have Disney Plus? Uh, no, I don't have Disney Plus. I don't really plan on getting it either. I don't know. I just don't really feel like I need it. I don't really want it, though. I don't know. I just, I don't have it, though. And the last one from Harold Dexter is, do you plan to upgrade the Lego Batman movie and Wreck-It Ralph to Blu-ray? Uh, maybe, but not really anytime soon, but maybe someday I'll upgrade them to Blu-ray. I'm not really in a big rush to upgrading them, but I, I think I'll upgrade them eventually, but I'm not really in a too big of a rush to upgrading them to Blu-ray. So uh, those are all the questions from Harold Dexter, and uh, thank you for all the questions, Harold Dexter. The next question comes from a user by the name of Poe Pawn, and his question is, Hey, I'm Dale Mark Ivith. I think that's how you pronounce that last name. I commented on your channel before since I left my previous comment. A lot has happened. My wife and I have since divorced in the age of COVID-19. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. The reason for our sudden split is simple. All the arguing about movies and DVDs just it wasn't worth it anymore. Obviously, I'm completely heartbroken and I'm currently midst of depression. Times are hard these days, but I will rise above this. While my wife and I didn't work out, there is a silver lining. There's plenty more fish in the sea. I'm just grateful for the time we had together. Now I'm just ready to move on. Anyways, my question is, have you ever experienced heartbreak? If so, how did you conquer the feelings of grief and sadness? Thank you, movie guy, and have a good day. Um, I gotta be honest. I've never experienced heartbreak in my life. Or, well, not that I remember. But, um, I don't think I've ever experienced heartbreak in my life. But, I don't really know how to answer that question. But I will say, things are gonna get better for you. Just stay strong. And I'm sorry to hear about your divorce. But um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. So thanks for the question, Paul Pawn. So uh, let's move on to some other questions, shall we? And there's only six questions left. So we're almost done here. So let's move on. So these last six questions come from Andy Keyshore. And all these questions are split into six different comments. So let's take a look at these last six questions. And then we'll be done this video. So... The first question from Andy Keyshore is, are you aware that Alex Trebek passed away on November 8th, 2020 at the age of 80? He was known for being the host of Jeopardy for 36 years. Alex Trebek was known for guest starring as himself in some cartoons and several live action TV shows such as Seinfeld in the episode The Abstinence. Uh, yeah, I heard he passed away. That's uh, really sad to hear. He passed away from a terminal cancer. I can't remember the exact cancer he had, but he passed away from a terminal cancer. I never really watched Jeopardy, but I know he was in it. But uh, may he rest in peace. The next one from Andy Keyshore is, Are you aware that the TV series Dexter is getting a reboot with 10 episodes planned for 2021? Yeah, I heard of uh, Dexter getting a, a limited series. It's going to be coming out sometime next year. I'm really excited for it. I hope it'll be good. I do have the whole series of Dexter on DVD. But uh, Dexter's a great show. It kind of had its ups and downs after season four. I think the first four seasons are the best seasons in the series. But uh, Dexter was a good show. I cannot wait for this limited series to see what happens in it. So, uh, yeah, the next question from Andy Keyshore is, I remember how you watched the entirety of the original Mr. Bean and Mr. Bean's Holiday on your old channel. But have you ever watched the revival special, Mr. Bean's 25th anniversary, I mean, 25th anniversary, Mr. Bean Drives Again, which was uploaded to YouTube on September 5th, 2015? And if you're wondering, yes, that revival does have Rowan Atkinson reprising his role as Mr. Bean. No, I actually haven't seen that. Maybe I'll search it up after I'm done this video. So the next one from Andy Keyshore is, are you aware of Ghostbusters the video game released in 2009 and a remastered version released on October 4th, 2019? I've heard 
some people say that the Ghostbusters video game is a, is a million times better than the 2016 Ghostbusters Atrocity. I've never played the Ghostbusters video game, but I hear it's supposed to be a pretty good game. Maybe I'll check it out someday. Um, anyways, the next one from Andy Keisha is, Are you aware that Game of Thrones The Complete Series was released on 4K Ultra, Ultra Blu-ray on November 3rd, 2020? I've heard uh, it got released on 4K. I do plan on getting it, but probably not for a while because it's going to be really, really expensive. I'll probably get it when it goes a little bit cheaper, but not for a while. It's going to be really expensive, but I do plan on getting it on 4K sometime soon. And the last one from Andy Keyshore, and this is the last question for this episode, is Are you aware that after nine years, the Nintendo 3DS was discontinued in September 2020? Actually, no, I didn't know that the 3DS was discontinued in September. That's kind of surprising to me. But uh, those are all the questions from Andy Keyshore. And uh, thanks for all the questions, Andy Keyshore. Well, guys, that wraps up another episode of Questions and Answers. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. And be sure to check out my other videos on my channel. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next episode, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below of either this video or any of my newer videos that are going to be coming out soon. And um, the next questions and answers video will be the last questions and answers video of 2020. So stay tuned for that. So in the meantime, thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. And feel free to follow me on my Instagram. And until next time, this is Key and Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.